So when we're looking to find realtors, okay, a couple of different sites that I would recommend that you go through that will help you have an easier time doing this, okay. Uh, one of them, uh, and it shouldn't come as a surprise, is realtor.com. So as you can see up at the top, it's just www.realtor.com, okay. So when you first come here, okay, this is also a great place to be able to find if a property is listed. And if it is, what are the comps? What are the different things? If the property isn't listed, you can still sometimes look it up here or contact a realtor to go ahead and find them. Okay. So when we're looking for realtors, okay, we don't type in a zip code here. We go up to find realtors. Now, with this, you can search either by agents teams or companies okay so the difference here agents are going to be individual agents teams are going to be those that are working in pairs could be a married couple could just be people that have come in together great i like to work with teams i find that they have one that will be the out and out running and the other one will be in the office making sure everything is taken care of i like that because they're just they're more organized okay you can also look for companies okay one of the things that they do not allow you to look for here is whether they are investor friendly. Okay. So with this one, this is why we're going to go. We're going to take a look at them. We're going to contact them and we're going to see who we can find that is willing to work with an out of state, sometimes out of country investor. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this. So we look at agents here. Okay. Now in the area served, you can type city, state, or zip here. Okay. It's really up to you. Okay, so we'll just go Minnesota, okay? Now, it's asking for a name. We don't know the name. That's why we're here to look for it. So don't think you have to fill that in, okay? And as you can see here, it says add criteria. And again, you can see whether it's accredited buyer's representative, buyer's representative manager, at home diversity, accredited land consultant, broker price certified, international property specialist, certified property manager. Okay. If you are looking for a property manager and you want to add these to this, you can. Okay. So it is a, a possibility. I haven't found that they were that helpful in me researching. Okay. So let's go ahead and look here, and we're going to click search. Okay. So it already told us that there were 68 realtors found. Okay. So Mark Leprechaun Gilgan, looking very sharp in his hat there. Okay. Uh, and then you can look here where it says that's his phone number. Okay. I like to see on their full profile. I want to see this for a couple of different reasons. Okay, so the reason I want to see this is number one, if they have a website, I like to see if they have a contact us, if they have a list of what they do when they're working on things. Okay, some realtors will also say investors click here to find out what's going on. Okay, so we want to take a look at that too and see what's going on there. Okay, um, so as we can see here, let's click, it says view his website. Okay, and this is what he has put in from the uh, Caldwell Banker uh, that they've uh, go ahead and given to him. I want you to notice when it says view website and you see this little icon here with a little box with an arrow, what that means is that it's going to go ahead and open it up in a new window for us, okay, which is good. Otherwise, what I would recommend whenever you're clicking on a link from a website, right click on it to where you can say open link in new tab, okay. Just one of those things. So, as we're looking here, about me, born and raised in Minnesota, who's in the National Guard, or in the Army, K, okay, and also with the National Guard, K, okay, great. All right, he's a returning veteran, good. Uh, okay, so when you look at his business philosophy, services available. Uh, okay, so home loans, okay. So, contact him, see what you can do, okay. So, that's a way to be able to go in, and let's go back here. Like I said, we found 68. Okay. So as you look at it, okay, and you can go in and contact them. 
and figure out what you can do. Okay, you can do the same thing. We just search for an agent. You can search for a team or a company. Okay, so on Realtor.com, that's a great thing. Now, if we go to Remax.com, and I haven't found another specific brokerage or listing firm that I can think of, and I'm trying to think here. No, I don't. I haven't found any others that will allow you to do this. Um, They'll let you search for agents like this, but not in the specific way that they will actually let us do it through Remax. Okay, and here's what I mean. So let's see. Let's go 56302 again. Oops. There we goes. Okay. Now, we don't know the agent name. You can choose to define by language spoken. Okay, I... It's not something that I'm going to need, but I am going to need under specialties. Now, I want you to notice there's three different columns here, okay? So you can check to see which one, which specialty you need your agent to have. As you've looked over them, you can see there are a couple of those that we could be, that could be helpful for us, okay? If we had an agent that could do appraisals, that would be very good, right? If we had an agent that was familiar with auctions, that could be helpful. But really what we're looking for is an agent that's familiar with investment properties. That's the main thing we want, okay? You can go in and tweak and see which one of these you like, but let's go ahead and go there and let's click View Agents. It found 26 agents for us, okay? Now, in the top right-hand corner of some of these agents, there's a little number. Okay. Well, let's look and let's see on Stephen Cash here. Oh, so here's his designations. Accredited buyer's representative, certified distressed property expert, certified real estate brokerage manager, certified residential specialist, graduate realtor institute. The one that we're interested there is the certified distressed property expert. Great. So if we're buying a distressed property, he's not going to be scared about it. Okay. So you can go ahead and email them from here. You can view their full profile. There's their phone number. Okay. So you can see, all right, here's some different people. And there's a team there. You can look, there's three pages here. So they found 26 agents. My recommendation, contact them. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can start building some relationships with some of these agents. Okay. So going through Remax, they allow you to sort like that. And like I said, at the time of this recording, I don't know of any other brokerage, you know, other than Remax that allows you to sort their agents like that, okay, which is very helpful to us. Now I'm going to take you down a different path, okay? The next two websites I'm going to go over are real estate investing sites, okay? And there are ways to be able to go in. When I show you this, there's a ton of information there. And I don't want you to get bogged down in the information. But what we're going here for is to be able to locate investor-friendly real estate agents. That's the point and purpose. All right, so I want everyone to catch up to me here. All right, so this website I went to right here is reiclub.com as it shows up in the top right of the page right there. When you first come up, it'll ask you if you want to subscribe. That's up to you. They send out a lot of information. Okay, you don't have to. Okay, over on the left, under investor resources, hard money lenders, real estate agents, okay, handyman services, property managers, real estate clubs, okay, business tools, different things like this, okay. So we want to look at real estate agents first. Now I want to make sure you notice that this little statement right here in the middle of the page, I'm going to highlight it. This is merely a listing of agents that, you know, and is not meant to be an endorsement. Do your own research. In other words, some of the agents listed here they may have chosen not to work with a, with real estate investors anymore. That's okay. That's why I've given you other options besides just this one, okay? 
So as you can see by the states, there's different ones. Some states don't have any listed. Some have multiples. Okay. So let's click on Florida, actually. Okay. And so you can see, here's some of the areas these people help. Okay. You've got a phone number. You've got an email address as well. Okay. Contact them. See what they're willing to do. Okay. One way to do this. Okay. Now back under investor resources, I want you to go to real estate clubs. Okay. And when you look at the clubs, again, let's click on Florida. Stick with that same theme here. And actually, before we went to Minnesota, didn't we? Okay, so let's do this. Let's actually go to Minnesota. So here are some of the different real estate investor clubs. Okay. So you can see most of them give you a contact person, a meeting location, phone number, email. Some of them actually have a website as well. Great. Contact them and say, yes, I'm an out-of-state investor. I need to know who's a good real estate agent to use. Okay, so that's also a way to start to network, to figure out what we can do. Okay, now the next website I'm going to show you, this is CREonline.com. So CREonline, CRE stands for Creative Real Estate. Okay. So again, they're going to say, hey, get this all delivered to your inbox. It's up to you if you want to do it, okay? When you first come in, again, plenty of articles, but we want to look, okay, under our resources, okay, so that we can go ahead and see what we're, you know, we want to look for real estate investment clubs on this website. They don't necessarily have the agent. Okay, so now we're looking at real estate investment clubs. Again, let's go down to Minnesota here. And here's some different real estate investing clubs. As you can see, most have at least a phone number. Okay, that's an email address as well. Okay, uh, so there, and this is one of the same ones from over there. Okay, uh, Minnesota Association of Real Estate Investors. Okay. So again, I would contact them and say, hey, I'm an out-of-state investor. I need to know what, who I can talk with that's going to be a reasonable agent. Or I need someone that's going to be there to be my eyes on the ground. Okay. So in short, going over these four websites, helping you find different ways to be able to contact real estate investors. Okay. The first one, Realtor.com, is allowing us to contact Realtors. Not necessarily a filter to determine whether they are investor friendly or not. Remax, we're able to go ahead and type in, yes, investment properties to where we can establish, yes, they should be investor friendly to where we can get things taken care of there. REI Club and CRE Online. You know, these were sites that were brought up specifically for being able to find investors and find who they're using in their areas so that we can use those as well investing. 